Tonight, friends and families of the victims say they are heartbroken to lose their loved ones. This, as a neighbor's surveillance camera, helps tell the story of exactly what happened. Fox 6's Sam Kramer live in Summers tonight. And Sam, many of those friends and family members rushed to the scene early this morning. Yeah, Mary, they say the Summers House Tavern was their favorite bar to go to as a way of avoiding trouble. Tonight, friends and family say it's tough to put into words exactly how they feel without getting a proper chance to say goodbye. From beyond the crime scene tape Sunday afternoon, Azriel Rash is still processing what happened just hours earlier. They had no hate towards nobody. They didn't hate anybody. I just, it sucks, because, it sucks because our, our city's falling apart. Rash and her friends identifying the three deadly victims as Kevin Donaldson, Cedric Gaston, and Akeen Stevenson. How could you take somebody from, from his family, man? Like, I, I don't understand, man. They are the most kind-hearted, kid-loving spirit. I, it's, just so, it's just so hard to explain because they were just so... Lo they, they loved everybody. They loved everyone, even if it, even if they didn't know you. The shooting happened right across the street from Peter Pulaski's house, just as he was going to sleep. Look out my window and I see gunfire going on over here. I see people running in every direction possible, people screaming, people laying on my lawn. His surveillance cameras provide a look across the street as the shooting spilled outside the bar. Right up here, you'll see some flashes going on and it seems like they were kind of running around a truck taking shots at each other. He says there's relief in knowing the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department has a person of interest in custody. But as the community gathers to remember those that have died, Rash says an arrest doesn't change what happened here. It gives them closure to know that they're safe. Um, but it hurts my heart to know that they're gone and he's here. Now we heard from a number of other neighbors that said yes, they were shocked to hear the gunfire, but they also fear that as a society we're becoming desensitized to this type of gun violence. Again, that person of interest is expected to face additional charges following more investigation. We're live tonight in Summers, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. All right, boy, those sound bites really show how much those people were loved. Sam, thank you for that. In the meantime, two women 